Hello, my name is David Rao and I'm the Director of Education and Outreach here at the Florence Griswold Museum and I wanted to share with you an, excited, an exciting project that the museum just finished called Sea Change. Um, sea Change took a close look at this painting by George Henry Dury um, called Seven Miles to Farmington. The title of the painting comes from this sign actually nailed to this tree and you can see it's a scene, a wintertime scene, of sleighs filled with people arriving at this country inn. Now we use this painting quite a bit when we're doing our education programs for school children, asking them what do you see, what's going on in the painting, what do you see that makes you say that. So when we got the idea to do an online grant for Connecticut teachers and students, we asked the teachers if they think this would be a good painting to do that, and they agreed. So what we did is we took one year and we got together content specialists, you know, people who knew a lot about um, art history, history, and geology, and then curriculum specialists, uh, teachers in second, third, and fourth grade, and we came together to say, if we were going to use this painting to teach Connecticut history, what kind of things would you want to include, what kind of things can we learn, and how can we really look at art and find the history. Um, not only does it give good information about this painting, there are some videos and some online activities and curriculum for teachers. So for us, it's kind of a prototype of the kind of learning or teaching that a museum can do in the wider world via the internet. The best way to find the Sea Change Project is to go on the museum's website, florencegriswoldmuseum.org, and then slash learn slash C hyphen change. But you can also just find it by looking um, under the learn section. Um, once you're on the site, well, you'll get lost because it's a rabbit hole of great information, games and activities. And what we're hoping is that teachers will find the website find ways to connect it to their curriculum and really show uh, the students that you can look at a wonderful work of art as a primary source, as a window into the past, um, and to learn about uh, Connecticut history. So the finished online website um, involved, includes a lot of different things for different kinds of people. Our historians and the geologists wrote essays that you can get a lot of great content from by just reading um, the, the different sections of the website, but we also wanted it to be a, a, a tool for close looking. And so after you've looked at this painting and see all these different things, there's a glossary so students can learn about the different names of the things in the painting. Um, we also have some learning to look comparisons where we have paintings that are very similar, and you have to decide which one is our painting and which one is the other painting. Um, we also have some animations where you can make up your own story, and we also have a really um, kind of a fun section where you get to actually listen to the things in the paintings. Very often when we work with school children, we have them imagine what this painting might sound like. Well, with the technology of the web, we can actually have a student click on something and a rooster will crow or click on another section and they hear the snow or the wind, trying to kind of use the uh, technology available uh, via the computer and bring a painting uh, to life in a whole new way. So please go on Sea Change um, at the florencegriswoldmuseum.org slash learn slash sea change and you know, take a look and um, learn a lot about this painting, but also learn about the different ways that paintings can teach us about uh, Connecticut history. We're also hoping that teachers will enjoy using this in the classroom and are currently making a teaching poster that will be available free to teachers in the fall. So if you are a teacher and interested in getting one of the Sea Change posters, just contact the museum and we'll send it off to you.